Yeah, so th this vehicle is a it's a 2016 Land Cruiser 200 series. Yep. Uh, it was part of this, this truck's got a cool story behind it. It's got some lineage. It's got some lineage. So this is one of the first 200s that came over to the United States. It's part of North uh, Toyota North America's media fleet. Oh. They then took it and shipped it to Australia where it did all the testing runs for the media team across, I forget the trip that they did in Australia, yeah, yeah. but all the marketing materials for the new 200 is this car. Really? Yeah. The actual video, promo video. Yeah, is, is this car. The which we, actual car. The actual car. Wow. So then they shipped it back yeah. to the US and it was part of a, you know, the media fleet that Toyota has fleets of cars. That's how the industry works, right? They do right. a media fleet and like you and Brady will go and, and yeah. get access to these vehicles for the first time. Right, and they're yeah. like, oh, I need a car. We're like, okay, well here, here, they'll either send you one or you'll fly in, you'll go use the car, you'll do a review on it, whatever. Yeah. These cars are used that way. Uh, for X Overland, we had this opportunity to do a drive to the summit trip with a bunch of press guys and Toyota executives and give them the experience of overlanding. Yeah. So we had to do a pre-run. So at the time, a guy, Alan Vaught, was working for Toyota, and he says, well, I want to go with you. And he showed up in Utah, and we went on this pre-run, and he was in this car. And we were all sitting around the campfire, and I said, you know, Alan, it would be really awesome if XO would run the 200 Series Land Cruiser as part of our, our fleet. Backing up into the XO story, people said, oh, well, you'll never get Toyota as a sponsor. They've never done that before. Then they did. They will never give you a car. Then they gave us two 2015 Forerunners. And then they said, oh, and they will never, ever give you anything for Land Cruiser because they don't market them. Yeah, and especially in the U.S. And especially in the U.S. at yeah. the time. So I was sitting around the campfire with Alan. And I said, Alan, it would be really awesome because this is like the car for overlanding. People will love it. This is, this is huge. And uh, so he said, well, tomorrow, why don't you drive it? And I was in this car and I said by myself, and I was just like, you know, Lord, if it is to be, I would love to have this very car, this one. And I know that it's not something that's normal. Yeah. But if it is, you know, that'd be great. Fast forward seven months later, Alan calls me up and says, I got a car for you. You need to come down to LA, pick it up. And it was this car. Really? Had this, still had the XO sticker on the back from our camping trip. And it was, this car was issued to us from Toyota. How many of these were in the States at the time? By that, that time, there was... Or in the oh, beginning. Oh. This was like a couple. A few. Yeah. yeah. So at the time, like if you were to think of it, this was probably a very, very million dollar car at yeah. the time. Yeah. You know, uh, it's not that now. It's just a normal car because the market's full of them. But yeah, it was one of the first ones. Oh, that's so exciting. So then we grabbed... We, that, we were off to the races and we, we built it up. We codenamed it Samson. And this one was the, the car that went from Colombia all the way to Argentina, back to Buenos Aires and back. So this one has pedigree. You're, you're not selling me very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so th oh. this car has, and it's been to Baja a few times, been to Canada. This has been the, the car that's very special to me because it was, uh, you know, people said it couldn't be done. Yeah. And then we asked for that one car and you get that one car. And you did it all. This is what I ran uh, when I worked for the CIA, this exact uh, model. Okay. And and we had them, and we had them, uh, a soft armor and up armor. Okay. And we used them in Africa, and um, I used them in Yemen and Pakistan. And especially Yemen, where things were like, I mean, it was like the, there was no roads. Uh, the roads that were paved were holes from bombs, and it was like, the stereotypical like team America scene where, you know, the dudes are wearing the beards and they're like, ah. yeah. like it was just <laughs> like that. And it was just insane. But this, I remember this car, especially because I had other variants like the Mitsubishi variants that I got stuck before, like pulling off the main road into dirt and literally got it stuck because yeah. the weight, this was the most reliable thing we've had that we had in our fleet, this wow. and the Hilux, but the Hilux even, because it was armored, was so heavy. This wasn't modified. It they just put the weight on. Yeah. The Hilux they had to modify eventually because all of them were getting stuck. 
and they just couldn't handle the weight. Yeah. But this, the drivetrain and uh, all the stock suspension upgrades, this suspension had to have been changed because it was so heavy. They make an up, yeah. Old Man Emil makes an up armored coil spring. And I, I actually had a set here for a while. Yeah. And they're like that round. Oh yeah. And that, I, it's, it's insane thick. how much weight they're designed to carry. Yeah. So you have a hundred series. I do, yeah. The 100 series Land Cruiser was designed for half a million miles of serviceable use in a third world country. Wow. That was the design spec from Toyota. Yeah. The 200, a man named Korari's son, yeah. was put in charge of that. And his his tasking was to do better than the 100 into the 200. Wow. So the 200 was considered and is still considered because it's the 300's out now, but we don't get it in the US. Yeah. But this is the best Land Cruiser that Toyota has ever made. Yeah. It, you have an 100 series, you know how good those are. Yeah, phenomenal. This, this is leaps and bounds above a, a yes. 100. Yeah. So this car, uh, it was built for long range touring. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it has obviously very good off-road capabilities. Yeah. But it's really built to travel across continents, countries. Comfortably. Comfortably. Everyone fights to be in the 200 series Land Cruiser. Yeah. On a big trip, by week two, everyone's yeah. fighting for the back seat <laughs> of a 200 series Land Cruiser. Yeah. It's like one of the best places ever. I see a KDS um, yeah. set up. So yeah. this KDS S systems, yep. which are excellent Yes, for that. I, I'm a big fan of KDS S. Kinetic yeah. Dynamic Suspension System is what it stands for. It is a hydraulics and it keeps the sucker on rails when you're turning corners and uh, really does a lot to keep the road manners nice, especially in body roll. Yeah. Especially with such a heavy truck. Yes. Uh, so it's 17 inch wheels, Icon wheels. This is currently wrapped in Grabber X3s. Icon CDC suspension 2.5s. I think this actually has 3.0s in the front. Yeah. And there's a difference between the 2.5s and the 3.0s. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Yeah. The 3.0s are like the sweet spot. Bulletproof. Everything on this truck is aluminum, other than the rear, the rear swing outs. Sliders, front bumper, everything to keep the weight as low as possible yeah. on the vehicle. Uh, easy on canine roof rack, rigid lights all the way around. Yeah. Um, all you box, rooftop boxes for personal gear and dirty socks or whatever you want. We keep light stuff up there. Yeah. And then an easy on rooftop tent. The back has dual Australian style spares. Yeah. Because uh, it tows a trailer yeah. often. So we carried both spares on the swing outs. Because you run the same spare for your trailer. On the, on the trailers. Sorry. Everything was, all the hubs were matched uh, <clears throat> for that. And then it's also fully locked air compressors, uh, ARB lockers. Factory comes with a center differential. Yep. Lock, and then you guys lock it up front and rear. Front and rear. Yeah. So it, it'll go from all-wheel drive to true four-wheel drive. Yeah. The center diff lock. It's it's not like a true center diff lock. It's, yeah. it's to get in into four-wheel drive, but it won't force all four wheels to spin at the same time. Yes. Uh, but yeah, then it has front and rear lockers. Uh, who, and then who, inside. Are those, is that an OEM thing, or is that uh, aftermarket? Like ARB? ARB. Yeah, lockers. Lockers, which are super strong. Yeah. And this is it. Is this an ARB bumper? This is CBI. Oh, CBI. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know CBI makes stuff for. They make them for us. Yeah. Like a custom thing. Yeah, they, they, it is on the list. I don't know if you can order one right now. Yeah. But uh, this is the first one they made. Done really well. And then inside, we're running standard galley goose gear. Brian made a special Samson. Yeah, that was fun one year for, right. for that. And then National Luna fridge, the fifty quart weekender fridge. Yeah, it's the best fridge. How do you power that? This is off of uh, an auxiliary battery in the front, so there's dual batteries in got this it, truck. Got it. Uh, no solar on the vehicle, but when you're yeah. running yeah. the way we do, we didn't really need it. Yeah. And then you have your stove. I robbed it for some other truck right now. Yeah. And then storage back here. What, what do you use this space for? Storage. That was often like all your personal bags. Oh yeah. Uh, and, and we like to put the personal bags and try to keep nothing on the top. 
The reason there's nothing on the top is because we wanted the ability for the rearview mirror to always see to the back. Got it. We as overlanders really like to stuff our trucks full of things and we lose our mirrors. Yeah, that's not good. We don't want to lose our peripheral vision if we can help it. Yeah. So this truck can see all the way to the back. Smart. Uh, and then with the canopy, we're being boxed in like this. If you have things in there in the event of a rollover, it's contained. Yeah. So it's under the Versus load and lashing principle. Smacking everybody's heads off. Right. So I love it. I mean, it's, it is a beautifully built, not overly built, yeah. still simple, everything you need, this thing. It's proper. Near it's and a proper dear. proper build. Yeah. I want to see the inside. Just, I yep. know what it looks like. It's just, I just want to feel the It's got the uh, equipped easy on, or the not the easy on, but the escape gear. Yeah. Seat covers. Yeah. These are the, and there's a brown leather. Yeah. Seats. So it's all brown leather. The truck is originally white. <laughs> So if you want to take it back to white, it's it's all. So we grayed it out with the seat covers I to match that. the outside. But if it you want to go back perfect. to, especially with my kids, they'll destroy this thing. Yeah, they will literally stab it with stuff. Like, this is perfect. It's got a ham radio in it, Icom radio system, Garmin uh, mount for an Overlander device, Garmin Overlander, and he yeah, said, he said and, that's included. The Garmin Overlander is included. He said it's part of the deal. <laughs> For you, I make special deals. <laughs> special deal for me. Oh, you got TVs? Yeah. You're welcome, Ben and Penelope. You're welcome. Those Lexus covers came out of the J201, which was a crushed car. It probably shouldn't be on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's a, that's a, that's a, like a little very subtle touch, but having the kids and knowing how they destroy things, that's smart. Yeah. It's smart. It's just moving around and putting boxes and those. I've already cracked the screens. Yeah. Just not paying attention to that. Dude, this is a proper setup. Yeah, it's she's good to go. And we we maintain them like airplanes. Like if there's something wrong. Yeah. If anything, something that seems like it's not right, it's in there getting fixed. I need to be able to service this through uh, X Overland. You guys need a service shop. An Overland you'll service to, you'll shop. You'll have to talk to Kurt at Cruiser Outfitters. Yeah, that's he's, that'd be, he's yeah. your guy. That's the guy. <laughs> Sweet. Well, yeah, there's Samson 200 series Land Cruiser. Yeah. But what, what, um, this did this whole South American leg, the whole yeah. South American. Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, back up to Buenos Aires. Wow. Then what else has it done? It's done, it did our Baja trip last year. It's done the North America series, uh, when we flew powered paragliders from Canada to Mexico. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. This was in this. It did the Altar Desert in Mexico, the dunes in Mexico. Yeah. We'll get a little B roll of me driving it <laughs> home. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right, cool. Thanks for letting me see that. That was awesome. Bet.